okay? I know how wide this is, okay? I know what it looks like here, and I know what I'm seeing at the bottom. So I know whether or not to touch the sole a whole lot or not. If I see something needing investigating, I'll investigate. But I'm not gonna just take everything down to a glossy sole. Why, right? I already know how much foot I have, just from reading on my hand, right? So you get that, you get that assessment real quick, and then you also get the assessment of how long the frog is to how long in front of the apex to the toe is, okay? This is a shorter one than long one from there in relation to the frog. So I know I don't got a bunch of foot, so what's the point of taking all my sole out? Okay, it goes back to just doing a good solid, strong trim for protection of the pedal bone. And like I was saying with the frog, the only reason we trim the frog is for hygienic reason. So what do we model the frog that we're trimming it to after? The sensitive frog. The sensitive frog's got nothing but symmetry to it and no sharp edges. So that's my goal. If you tear apart some feet, you'll see that those frogs that are sensitive frogs that make the horny frog that we trim are just beautiful. Again, it goes back to what do we do? How do our bodies work, right? So I'm right-handed. I use a right-handed knife and a left-handed knife. But this side, I want to be able to see the commissure, so I lay it down. When I take my other knife, I want to see the commissure, so I stand it up like that. All of a sudden, my frog goes like that. Something to think about. Take that one and straighten it. Bring it in. Take the right-handed one, stand it up. Now our frog's symmetrical down the center of my foot. If it's symmetrical down the center of my foot, I get a better reading on how distorted my hoof capsule is from the frog. Is it massively pushed off one side or the other? Okay. Again, it goes back to understanding how my body is dictating what I'm doing to where I can see. Okay. You don't use a loop knife ever? I don't just because I suck at sharpening them. Oh, that's <laughs> like I can, the thing. All I right. can sharpen them, and I don't dislike them. The thing I don't like about loop knives is how the stuff you trim gets stuck in them. Oh, yeah. So that bugs the heck out of me. Like, I can sharpen them to the point where they're sharp, but like, I don't, I don't want to use them on the sole. They work great on the frog, but like, I have a hard time having... You just got three edges, though. You got two, you know? True, true, exactly. <laughs> so, edge, you got another edge you can use yep, more, right? Yep, yep. Same thing, looking at balance. This heel's obviously not distorted because it's not had an injury on it, so I'm not going to really do a whole lot. There's just not that much to do. How long ago were they done? Uh, he's about six weeks out. Uh, yeah. Five to six weeks. So whenever I, you see my hand with one hand on the rasp, I'm always making contact to two spots. I'm not doing that, okay? A lot of times from the widest point to widest point, you see the outer hoof wall shorter than the inner hoof wall because it's rolled off because of that. Same thing, it's just what your body does, okay? You never use a hind stand? Um, I do use a cradle. Yeah. My back started hurting, so I quit using the cradle, and my back quit hurting. So I was like, yeah. all right, yeah, tune up, huh? I'll listen. Yeah. <laughs> like that Forrest Gump thing, you lean against me, and I'll lean against you, and we ain't got to sleep in the mud. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Same thing, just looking at my shape, my hoof wall thickness. So you can see instantly from that side that I've touched and this side that I have, and you see the flow that I've put in it. The flow refers to from one transition to the next, how it connects, okay? A good thing when you start breaking down your trims, you got a butcher block? 